Hi there, it's Saturday the 2nd of September and I must say it's lovely to be sitting in the sunshine. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. Okay, I've got my Ride Awake cards here today and I'm going to give you a two card to have a reading. That keeps happening. Last few days a card's blown out the pack every day so they're obviously very keen to give us a message. Let's see what that message is. Okay, the card that blew out the pack was the Six of Swords and it's accompanied with the Ace of Wands. I'm really drawn actually to the fact that this wand can almost be seen here, isn't it? Now you look at this card and there's two people sitting in a boat, okay? And you really focus on those two people sitting in the boat because they're covered over. They look kind of a little bit worn out from their circumstances. They're moving away. You've got this um, troubled water here and the calm water. They're moving towards calmer water which often signifies that if you've had a lot of chaos a lot of stress in your life recently it is you're moving away from it okay but there's a couple of significant details in this card one you've got a load of swords in the boat <laughs> okay not ideal really you know it's um it's meant that they can't have many more passengers but these swords have to be there because if they weren't if we pulled those swords out there's obviously called six holes in the boat and the boat would sink so this is very much about moving to calmer places but still having an element of baggage or an element of um, thoughts that you've got to process yeah sixes are a sign of progression but they're also a sign of moving on but this is a slow process i feel slow because we're going on a boat being pushed away very slowly slow because we've got this heaviness with us, okay? Now that's not to say that that's gonna last forever, but this just seems to me the idea of be mindful that you are still processing information, it, whatever's happened to you over the last maybe two or three months actually, I feel that's significant. Don't forget as well, got a lot of really slow retrograde energy which does mean that we often have to go back and process stuff before we can move on so I really feel that's why this card sprung out on us today but there's so that was one thing that I wanted to say about this card the other thing is we often focus on these two don't we we forget there's a third person in this picture and this third person is quietly moving these place, people to a place of safety. Yeah, he's the one doing the work. So there might be an element of somebody in the background helping you through. That could be a spirit guide or your, you know, just loved ones in spirit just gently helping you move and process through things. It could be somebody just very quietly helping. You know, that lovely friend that just turns up and makes you a cup of tea and tells you to go and have a shower. <laughs> that person. You know, so it's the idea again of reminding yourself that you are not on your own. And there's always help if you ask for it. I'm assuming these two got to the river, couldn't pass it, spoke to this man and he came up with a solution have not done it on their own and you don't have to do everything on your own we talked yesterday with the spirit animals about following your path and it was your path and you've got a vision but that doesn't mean you have to do everything on your own so that's worth bearing in mind so talked about the wand now obviously this isn't a wand as such but i feel like these are connected in the fact that if you have got this inspiration and this idea of newness and something that's coming into your life and that you want to drive forward, you might feel a little bit stuck. As I say, the retrograde energy is going to slow things right down. You might still have to deal with quite a lot of, I don't know, legal matters or paperwork or people or phone calls or something to get yourself where you need to be. Okay. I feel that this wand is going to be this from someone else. And I don't normally say that, but I just feel it's that idea of look for the people that can help you today. Look for those opportunities to collaborate with somebody or just if you don't understand something, ask. Yeah, if you've got something that is new to you, don't try and muddle through. If you don't understand it, just ask for help. So I feel like this Ace of Wands is the idea of 
acknowledging that you're on a new, powerful, exciting, creative journey, but that you don't have to do it all by yourself and that there is always help around if you need it. So that's a very short and sweet message, but I feel it just sums everything up beautifully. So I hope that, um, as I say, this, this has come out of nowhere. So maybe you will also find somebody that has comes out of nowhere and just gives you some wonderful advice or help along the way. I'm always here to offer help and advice. <laughs> so please do like and subscribe to my channel and I'll be back again tomorrow with another reading for you. But in the meantime, have a wonderful Saturday. Bye for now.